Welcome back. I have Dr. Carly Schrag here, who's with Hogue, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about the sleep health program that they have there. And she is a surgeon, and you have been implanting a particular device that is helping people with sleep apnea. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, so this is a new fully implanted device. Um, it's really innovative and it treats obstructive sleep apnea for patients who cannot tolerate the CPAP machine, which mm -hmm. is the traditional treatment for sleep apnea. Right. Now, obviously, the machine has varying sizes and lots of people can't deal with it. Mm -hmm. um, I know that you were telling me that there's a process that you have to go through. So tell me about the evaluation as to what you guys look for as to who's a candidate. So you first start by having a sleep study, and you need to be in the moderate to severe range of obstructive sleep apnea, mm -hmm. and try the CPAP machine, because for a lot of people that works really well. But for some people, they really can't tolerate it. So then they get sent to me, and I do an airway evaluation and look at other specifics on your sleep study and your weight to see if you're a good candidate for implanta implantation of the device. Okay. Now tell me about the device and where it's implanted and how big it is. Yeah, so um, it's a lot like the size of a pacemaker. Some people kind of know how big that is. And it sits uh, right on your chest wall underneath your skin on the right side generally. And it sends a little stimulation to your airway muscles. So while you're, and it's timed with your breathing during sleep. So while you're sleeping, it gives a little stimulation to the airway muscles to keep your airway open and prevent it from collapsing while you sleep. Wow. Well, would it, would people have to adjust to it at all? Would they notice right away how it feels or what does yeah, it feel Yeah, like? you can feel it stimulate the airway muscles. So there is an adjustment period, but people generally tolerate it really well and we start them at a very low stimulation and work them up over time. Oh wow, so you mm -hmm. can program it. Yeah, you can program it and adjust it. It's all adjusted with the remote control that you kind of hover over the device on the outside, but huh. otherwise it's fully under the skin. Wow, that is really cool. So yeah. it's only, it's been around since how long? FDA approved in 2014, just started implanting at Hogue uh, last year, about a year ago. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, there's thousands of patients now across the country who have been implanted and really getting very good results. Patients are very enthusiastic about it. Now I understand that Hogue is the only, well you're the only person that's installing these here in Orange County. Yeah, so far, yeah. Um, wow. It's a really new, um, innovative program and we're excited to offer it to patients. Yeah. Now what are some of the, um, like, how do you go about doing this once when, when you implant it? Obviously, it's a surgery. Mm -hmm. So, so it's an outpatient procedure, so you get to go home the same day. It takes two or three hours to do. There are three incisions, so there's one in the neck to um, place the, a cuff around a nerve. There's mm -hmm. one over the device and then one on your side. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, it, it does take um, an outpatient procedure to do, but people uh, recover very well and tends to be a lot less painful than a lot of the other surgeries for sleep apnea. Right. So um, what would you recommend somebody doing uh, if they are interested in this? So they should um, contact Hogue. They can also contact my office directly, but if they work through Hogue and the, the sleep center there, um, they can sor sort of start the workup process and mm -hmm. send them to me if, if they're a good candidate. Now one thing I, I forgot to mention is insurance. Mm. So is this something that insurance will cover? It is, yes. Sometimes we have to go through a prior authorization process, which okay. can be slow. But yes, insurance covers it, Medicare covers it. You just have to meet, make sure you're meeting the criteria for the device. But right. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting because yeah. I know people who are trying to use that CPAP machine and they just can't figure it out and they yeah. never get used to it and it makes noise. and. Yeah, and sleep apnea is a huge health problem and it really needs to be treated. So for those patients who can't tolerate the mask, we want to have other options for them. Love that. All right. Well, yeah. thank you so much. I love the information. Thank you. All right. And remember, if you want more information, you can always uh, go to hogue.org forward slash neurosciences for this very exciting opportunity. We'll be right back.